opinion, he is in the top ten. Clearly, right now, if he stopped playing, he'd be in the top ten with a chance to be on some people's top five list. He's a once-in-a-generation kind of player, but so too were others. Oscar, Will, Russell, Elgin, and guys of that ilk. But I think it will be a long time before we see anybody quite like him in size, strength, speed, and skill. Well put. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Cavaliers have had a disappointing game so far from the line. Only three free throws made. And as a team, they're shooting about 75% on the year. Well, that one miss shouldn't be too costly because he was able to make it a two-possession lead, at least. It's Davis on the win. It's up a three. No luck. Nothing fancy about that play. Just good, hard-nosed basketball to haul in the board. And the first half ends in a close one. Cavaliers lead by four. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And we're getting back to the action with the third quarter ahead in this Mother's Day broadcast of the NBA. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. Yeah, it's been sheer dominance in the post by him so far, just tearing them up when he gets inside. And getting it to him is the only hard part. Once he has it, he's automatic. Irving. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, LeBron is the three with Thompson at the four. Smith is out there with Irving, and it's Mozgov in at seven. Here's Smith, and it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Irving kicks to Smith. Back to Irving. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And that's now 10 points for Kyrie Irving. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. The first ever NBA head coach directly hired from the international ranks. Though he grew up near Boston, a die-hard Celtics fan, he represents all the aspiring NBA coaches from abroad, saying, quote, I feel a great sense of responsibility. I feel like I've got to do a good job. Kevin, he's certainly got the personnel to do it. A roster loaded with talent, Doris, indeed. Thank you. And that's Evans penetrating. Left side, Gordon. Lock at six. Here's Davis. And the shot is good. Davis has got six points in the quarter. Well, it's obvious Anthony Davis can run, jump, rebound, block shots. You see those types around the NBA, but what sets him apart in my mind is his skill and fluidity at the offensive end. I mean, that to me is what elevates him to the superstar echelon. The Cavaliers leading by four. Got a piece of it. Here's Evans. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Wow. And you look at Davis offensively, able to face up and shoot, but I love the way he moves without the ball. Great cutter, intuitive finishing on pick and rolls, and you know, he's devastating filling the lane in transition. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Agents is checked in. 
Cunningham comes in for Davis. Drew Holiday is checked in for Eric Gordon. And Cole is in for Tyreek Evans. And Thompson throws it down. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. And Clark for Davis, he gets to the line. He makes a nice clip for a big man. Yeah, his elevator is expressed straight to the top floor, partner. No in-between for him. When he attacks the rim, he's getting it done. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Cunningham. Davis comes in for Quincy Bondexter. And Tyreek Evans subbed in for Norris Cole. Here's Davis. That misses off the back. And it's Shumpert penetrating. And that one is stuffed right through. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin. But so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. By himself. Wow. wow. Look at that, oh, yes. oh, that oh, athletic oh, play. Oh. Incredible. Wow. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in. Aren't they have to build up a lead? And here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the road. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. His teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That is his first Anthony. foul of the game. Miller's checked in for Cleveland. And they'll keep possession. Davis against Shumper. It's Davis with the drop. Evans outside. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they've got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Tack a few more points onto their lead with the town hall. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. <laughs> Clark, yes, bring it down hard, yes, my brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Clock. And again, New Orleans has no luck. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Shumpert. No good with the triple. Now Evans, averaging 16 points a game. Here's Davis, just three on the clock. And we've watched three so far in this one. Pelicans trail by eight. Gordon out there with Norris Cole. Then there's Quincy Pondexter. Then there's Anderson. And it's Cunningham in the power forward position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Irving with the steal. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Here's Cole. He's covered by Irving. Fires top of the key. They get the rebound. And there's the bucket. Stays with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Strong rebounding, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. LeBron kicks to Miller. He lobs it up. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Gordon. It's rebounded by Cleveland. James has got three rebounds so far in the game. Takes the turnaround, Jay. That's good. You know, that mid-range jump shot may be a, an underutilized tool in today's NBA, but it's really serving this team well. In fact, it very well might be the strongest area of their game offensively. That finish brings me back to the old days. The silky smooth finger roll. 
Timeout called Cleveland. Some changes for New Orleans. Omerash, he's checked in for Anderson. Davis comes in for Dante Cunningham. And it's Fredette in for Norris Cole. Mozgov, he's checked in for Cleveland. Smith comes in for Matthew Delavidova. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. He said to them, the lead we've got now is nice, but I want to make it even nicer. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. The shot is off. Gordon with the defensive effort. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Now we've seen them make that extra effort of rotating from the weak side, closing out on their airspace, really sending shots back. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Fredette with it. Now Smith defending. Clock at four. That doesn't go either for Davis. Smith kicks to LeBron. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Execute it to perfection. I don't think you're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. Gordon goes in, and he converts the layup. Gordon's got four this quarter. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Smith kicks to Thompson. For three. James with another miss. Pelicans trailed by nine. Gordon the pass to Pondexter. Davis dishes to Pondexter. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. New Orleans making a switch here. Evans is checked in. New Orleans now. Time running out. Now the feed to Ash. He kicks to Bondexter. Ashik the pass to Evans. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Dishes it to Ash. The drive by James. The kick out to Irving. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. 19 points for Kyrie Irving. Well, clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit uh, as exciting as that would be. And I think this was an excellent all-around performance for Cleveland. I agree, Steve, and this is a game where defense, you know, Clark Steele specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created extra possessions for them, too, Kevin. Scoring opportunities they cashed in on, and that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory tonight. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. They were ready for this one today, guys. There was something extra on the line. You could see it. I know exactly what you're referring to, Steve. With this victory, they'll win this season series two games to one. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Irving. Yes. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected energy into every play that was made out there. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle on the road. And they clearly yes. wanted the win. You know, they were determined to steal this game, and they showed it, Steve. Played harder and got the job done. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now, thanks to this spurt. Just keep on firing, man. No reason to slow down now. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, LeBron James.